the summoner job if there was a champion to be voted for the most impressive showcase for a job from the endwalker job trailer it has to go to the summoner and i'm sure you guys are very very hyped very very surprised by i guess the rework and the gameplay footage that was showed for the summoner and we all know that you know there's been some chatter that the summoner will receive a big rework but the fact that we actually got the longest duration in the trailer showcase for summoner it's actually really telling that I think um, Square Enix, Yoshi, P and team actually spent a lot of time thinking about how to rework the summoner. My immediate reaction is that wow, the summoner class just went from something that feels more like a pet trainer to a huge step closer to being an actual summoner by Final Fantasy you know, class and job standards. And to be clear, they did clarify in the job breakdown section subsequently in the life letter that you are not actually summoning the proper primals. But regardless, the entire reworld is still pretty hyped to see the baby Eggy basically grow up to become full-fledged primals. Now that is the job I can get behind. And it seems like from the job gauge, the initial point, Garuda, Ifrit, and Titan, you know, each indicated by the three colored markers on the job gauge, they are actually locked. And it seems that as you go through your rotation, they'll basically be unlocked. And when you call upon one of them and it seems like from the job action trailer you can actually choose the order in which you activate the the primals your abilities as a summoner gets infused with the corresponding elemental aspects of the primals garuda ifrit and titan and just by looking at the abilities it was pretty cool to see like it's very distinct visual animations that many of you and, and myself including are probably familiar from the a realm reborn mechanics in, in those uh, primal fights and I guess it was very cool that the summoner mains will now have to learn which primals are best used for which parts of a PvE fight uh, to, for maximum DPS and uptime and whatnot. And this is a very cool thing in my opinion to actually maximize in a PvE fight. Of course, I'm quite curious like if they will ever think about doing glamour for your primal summon similar to how they currently have glamour for the Aegis. I think that might be pretty kick ass, but obviously it might just be a pipe dream from my side. Um, in the job presentation component, they also mentioned that the removal of um, you know, the applications for dots uh, for the summoner job class. Um, in, in the job presentation component, I think they also mentioned that they are removing the application of dots for the summoner job. And I don't know how summoner mains actually think about this, but from the reaction I see from chat, some old school summoner players or mains seem to think that this is dumbing down the class while others reckon that the removal of dots is actually quite in line with you know the fantasy of playing a summoner job but regardless i'm curious to see what summoner mains actually think about this change uh part of my questions that i have now is how would the leveling experience be like like do you actually get to learn um how to use primals at the very start of leveling a summoner and also what happens to the job quest uh, given it's a rework of the job, do they have to tweak job quest to fit uh, how the job actually plays? And also I see this question being asked in my chat as well, like you know whether or not it's possible to still keep your Aegis out like they are currently. But I think it's quite clear from the job trailer that yes, you can keep your Aegis out and they will still function as you know your Aegi glamour and whatnot. But look, the long story short is that I think Summoner hands down won the showcase for the job trailer. They look and they feel like legit summoners closer to how you know summoners actually do work historically in the Final Fantasy franchise. So yeah, that would really surprise me because I thought it would actually be the new job, the Sage and the Reaper that will win the showcase in terms of like, you know, what is the biggest talking point from the job trailer. So I personally, you know, would love to hear what people are thinking about the summoner remake, um, especially if you're a summoner main, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, but that's all for this video. I kind of wanted to make a quick video for the summoner because this is obviously something that is top of mind from watching the job trailer. Um, if you enjoyed the video, do subscribe to the channel. I'll continue to cover Final Fantasy XIV going into Endwalker now that the hype train has fully left the station. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.